Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Iron Man and Odin in the arena. Round one is over and done with. I have both of these champions. In fact, not only do I have both of these champions as six stars, I actually have both of them as seven stars. Um, so no need for me to grind this out. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboards here. Uh, let's see. Now, I don't remember which one. Let's see. Is it this one? Yeah. All right. So Iron Man was in the basic. I couldn't remember which one was in the basic and which one was in the featured. I wish they would do something a little bit better uh, to let us know without having to go into it. Uh, but anyway, today is going to be a very interesting day for me. Um, it's going to be a, a little bit busy because we have hero use on right now. And I want to complete a few things in the contest, like the Winter of Woe week four, um, the showcase, Alliance War showcase, because they'll give me resources to rank up champions and level up is about to hit. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of that after I make this uh, video. All right, Raul. <laughs> Raul. And every time I see that name, I think of uh, my old friend, Raul, classmate. Um, there's that name again. Uh, but he was a classmate for a while. Uh, I went to a predominantly Hispanic school. And a lot of the school, the majority, I, I mean, 90 something percent uh, were Hispanic. And it was a mix. You had people from Mexico, from Cuba, from Puerto Rico, from the Dominican Republic. I mean, you had people from all over. Um, I believe Raul was from Puerto Rico, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, but anyway, um, there were maybe, maybe uh, five of us in the entire school that did not speak Spanish. But you would think I learned Spanish really well at a, such an early age because I went to this school from like uh, second grade, but they were forbidden to speak Spanish around us because they were trying to learn English. So that was what they were to do. You know, it wasn't just because we couldn't uh, participate in the conversations if they did that. You know, and of course, they, they spoke Spanish to each other and everything. Uh, Shasha boom. Uh, but they were were supposed to be learning English. I actually helped uh, one young lady who's, of course, not a young lady anymore, uh, learn some English. And so we would speak and I would, uh, you know, help her with different uh, terms and everything like that. And that was back in fourth grade. Uh, that that happened. So anytime I see Raul, we went to school for many years together, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Okay. Um, I went away for sixth grade, skipped seventh grade to eighth grade. Then I came back to the same school in the ninth grade and got reunited with all of them and it was fun to see them you know obviously we're not grown grown up but from second grade third fourth fifth you know to to ninth grade yeah some people you know grew <laughs> last zarnian congratulations oh you got number 100 imagine when 100 was the cutoff you would have been the cutoff that is that is awesome. Uh, but anyway, so the last time I saw Raul was in ninth grade. Now, I got skipped. So I was in the ninth grade while most of my friends were in the eighth grade. However, the school was a small school. And I believe um, there were only four people in the ninth grade, four or five, I think it was five, five people in the ninth grade and five people in the eighth grade. I think, was it? 
No, 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 no. I'm thinking five because of the way we sat. They they had the guys sit uh, in a row. And they had the girls sit on the other row. So we were parallel to each other facing the uh, front. So there were actually, I believe, 10 or so uh, in the ninth grade. But we shared the class with the eighth grade. So on the left-hand side of the classroom was filled with all the eighth graders. And there, there were, again, it was a small school, private school. Um, and there were probably maybe 30, you know, uh, eighth graders in that class. And then you had the ninth graders on the right-hand side in two columns. And uh, and I believe it was 10. It could have been 12, but I know it was uh, even. And um, I remember Raul, they always made him sit in the front because he was a bad child. Um, he, was, he was just naughty, you know? And uh, they would make him sit in the front, front and center, where he could be seen and watched. But, oh, let the teacher leave the classroom. Oh, my goodness. You almost never found him in his chair. And I can remember the teacher. The teacher was sometimes like, Raul, are you sick in the mind? <laughs> he would say that because Raul would be doing some crazy stuff. He was just like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know? Um, but that was the last time I saw him, uh, my, my uh, graduation. And I came back for the eighth grade graduation um, because I was, you know, all my friends were graduating. And uh, I remember um, much, much later on, you know, now I'm an adult, I'm working, um, graduated from college and everything. And at first I found... Um, you know, uh, one social site that I didn't really like. Uh, and then a friend of mine said, hey, you know, you should uh, try Facebook. And I said, what's Facebook? You know, and they were like, well, you know, we, we've been meeting up with people. You know, social media was not a really big thing yet, you know. So I was like, oh, OK. All right. So I got on Facebook and I liked it. It was cleaner. Um, you didn't have all those crazy um, profiles where people were putting up web pages and it, it was crazy. OK, um, let's look at a uh, Odin um, leaderboard here. He was the uh, uh, featured and I like my Odin, by the way, my seven star Odin. Oh, yeah. Do not sleep on Odin. He is not just for pre-fights, even though that is what we predominantly use him for. You know, a little chilling. I see you. Shasha, boom. I see what you're doing. Double dipping. All right. We good. I'm pretty sure both of these champions went low. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up and what rank, especially on round one, because you will have people wanting to go for uh, these champions round two. Uh, when I was going for a lot of champions, round one, I would go for the five star. There's that name again. Uh, and round two, depending, I would go for um, the six star. These days, I'm taking it easy, though. Laser John, congratulations. So anyway, that was the last time I saw Raul. I went over to Facebook eventually, and I was reconnecting with so many people. And it was amazing because um, one lady, I say lady now, last Zarnian, double dipping, top 100 in both. That's what's up, man. Congratulations. She recognized me. And this was a friend from like second grade. And then more, because the thing with the um, the ladies is I couldn't search for them because a lot of them got married and their names changed. So there was no way I could know who or what. 
But when they would, some of them did, you know, put their real, you know, their maiden names uh, on Facebook precisely for that reason, so they could be found. But some of them, they didn't. But when they saw me, they recognized me and they would send a friend request and I would recognize their name, not their last name, but their first name. And then I would look at their picture if they had one up and be like, oh, you know, that's so-and-so, you know. Saitama, congratulations, man. And so as more people, you know, started reconnecting and everything, I had so many, so many friends um, uh, reach out, you know, from second grade, that was the earliest, all the way, you know, to college. I remember, you know, you, you heard about the six degrees of separation. One of my friends from New York, okay, this is going back high school and and somewhat earlier, okay? His mom and my mom went into business together. And you remember I said that I, I um, left that school well, I left that school to go to my mom's school. And his mom, they were both, you know, owners of the school, principals or whatever. And uh, so we met him, his brother, his sister. And, you know, we maintained a friendship. We, uh, we didn't go to the same church, but we often visited the churches. And when we did, we would always find them and, you know, hang out. All right. So he didn't have his real name up there, but I recognized his picture. And I remember that, um, one of my friends was talking to him. This was a college friend. She didn't know that I knew him. I didn't know that she knew him. And he didn't know that we knew each other. And we were like, what's going on? He was like, you know him? And I was like, yeah, how you know him? You know, it was awesome. But sadly, when I tried to reach out to find Raul, um, one of my friends from the school who's become a pastor let me know that he had passed away uh, some years ago uh, in an accident. So I wouldn't have a chance to you know, say, are you still that bad kid like you were? You know, things like that. Um, so a little bit sad, but it lets you know that life is precious. And you never know. You know, he, he was very young. And I know a lot of folks that have uh, passed away young. So live every day like it's your last. Don't let people, um, you know, don't be angry at people for, for long periods of time because you never know. You never really know. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.